everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I'm going to do a little personal rip today, and it's going to be of the 2022 Topps Chrome Logo Fractor Edition. Now, these became a little surprise edition last week to the Topps Chrome lineup. They first became available at the actual MLB store in New York City, and then later on in the day, they hit over on Topps.com. They have been really popular because they have the 10 logo fractor cards that you can get out of here. But more importantly, we have all of the rookies that we expected to find in the standard hobby release from Topps Chrome. So we'll show you a little bit of the packaging here. We'll show you what some of the odds are. These boxes have already about doubled in value. They were $50 if you got them from the MLB logo store. That's where I had them. They shipped them pretty quick, which was nice. If you got them on Tops, not sure if Tops.com has shipped them out yet, but they've sold out on there and they're going for around $90 to $100 online. So let's get into this and see if I can get lucky, pull something nice here, and we'll check out the logo fractor cards. And in the comments below, let me know if you think that this is one of the better values that you can get in the Topps Chrome lineup. And if you haven't done so already, throw over to first and hit the like button. We do set reviews on the channel. We do breaks. We do all sorts of PSA reveals. So we do all sorts of stuff. So if you haven't subscribed, hit like, do all those fun things. And I would greatly appreciate it if you did. So set up kind of like a mega box would be so we'll open the normal stuff don't expect that you're going to find too much stuff in the normal packs you might get lucky and get a few good rookies but don't expect to see parallels like jaron duran that's a nice one we've got frankie lindor let's push these back a little bit we got frankie lindor there's a joe ryan rookie swanson and woodruff so they give you five of these packs and like i said they're not gonna have you're basically going to be looking for a couple regulars. They're going to be all base. There might be some really long odds that you pull something, but don't expect too much. So we'll rip through these pretty quick so we can get to the Logo Fractor. Kind of like the name. It's got the MLB logos on them. There's Rogers, Riley Adams, rookie. And uh, so that logo has that... The, Logo Fractors has the MLB logo as kind of a refractor in the background. And you can get parallels, which has kind of been the big chase on this stuff. So our normal packs, not too much going. The Jaron Duran, probably the best card so far. There's a Burger rookie. Then we have, yeah, not much going there, which is kind of to be expected. So if you're buying into these boxes, don't expect that you're going to hit some mega card out of the regular packs. You're really going after these, and this is what you're buying. So the question is, is, is it worth paying the secondary price, or should you wait for those to come down a little bit? Very cool-looking cards. We've got the Max Kepler. We will have some color in this one. Garrett Cole. And there's O'Neal Cruz. We will take that one all day long and right beyond that i'm gonna hide it here a little bit we've got even a better card how about a luis gill autograph logo fractor rookie so what a pack so lo the logo fractors are really inflated on the secondary market right now. I believe stuff is selling for a little bit higher than it should, but it is a brand new release. So it's kind of one of those things that's a little bit to be expected, but definitely a nice first pack because our third card going to be the Jose Altuve purple, and that's going to be numbered 99 out of 250. Would have loved for this one to have been a rookie, but nonetheless... Logo Fractor, very much like the Mega uh, the Mojo Refractors, but I just think they're a little bit cooler with that MLB logo in the back, and I think that's what's got people freaking out. So let's see what we get in our second pack. So the Luis Gil Auto, just a sweet one. 
And in our next pack, here's what we'll have. Mike Yastrzemski, Springer, Sean Murphy, Future Stars O'Neal Cruz. So we get not one, but two O'Neal Cruz cards in the same box. And our final card, how about a Bo Bichette magenta or is it pink there's been a lot of stuff on twitter about how the magentas and the pink look exactly the same and i agree with that this is a magenta though it is numbered 52 out of 199 so we get the Bo Bichette to 199 beautiful one there and our future stars o'neill cruz sick looking card right here although i would like if tops chrome updated the future stars design a little bit it feels a little tired this year they've kind of used this same design the last couple years or a variation of it but nonetheless i would say um you know you have an opportunity to hit some really nice cards out of these logo fractor it is at the end of the day basically a little bit like buying a mega box and chasing mojo refractors not every box is going to be loaded some boxes are going to produce an insane amount of value my recommendation is if you like chrome cards don't overpay but if you can get them for the right price maybe even buy some singles of the cards you want might be a cheaper way to get in but overall definitely a fun rip just don't expect those first five packs to give you much so let me know in the comments below if you think that this is worth it let me know how uh, the rip went in your eyes. And as I said earlier, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Check out my Patreon page. You guys know all the deal on that stuff. And until next time, I appreciate you watching. As you're out there in the wild, I hope you have good luck when you open your Logo Fractor boxes. And I hope you are good to your family. Good to your friends and good to your neighbors. And most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.